epicycles now. Okay, you just brought up when they first claimed it was heliocentric, and the reason they knew it was was because the planets worked better that way. That isn't true, though, because when they first claimed that it was heliocentric, they had to add way more epicycle corrections. Okay. So <laughs> they saw wrong. the epicycle when they thought the Earth, when they thought it was geocentric. No, no, they and had to add epi... What, what was his name? The guy, uh, Jesus. The guy who, like, basically cataloged the stars back then. <laughs> okay, so there was Tycho Brahe. Tycho Brahe? Right. Yeah. Not that guy. Well, that's who actually cataloged the stars, and then Kepler took his observations and data and then tried to create a model of the Earth being going around the sun in a heliocentric model. He took Tycho Brahe's actual observations. Maybe I'm thinking of Copernicus because he still needed epicycles for his idea to work. I guess the question is, do you have any actual... You believe that the Earth flies around the sun 66,000 miles per hour, 30 kilometers every second. So we're, we're just asking, do you have That's evidence for that claim? Sure. We have evidence that's not the case. Every time anyone's ever tried to measure the Earth doing that alleged motion, it hasn't measured it. We always measure the Earth to be stationary when they try to measure the Earth's orbit. We actually see the stuff in the sky move. Everything in the sky moves around the Earth, including distant galaxies. All the observations say that we're not moving. You're claiming the opposite. I asked you, do you have any evidence well, the of it? observations say, yeah, it's a little hard to to measure how fast we're going when we're not in space because we're part of the movement, right? We can't like, measure it at all. Well, why do you why do you get to how do you get to stand up in a plane that's moving 700 miles an hour? It, like if you woke up, if you were born on a plane, didn't know you were on a plane, lived your whole life on a plane, you thought you would have thought you were on a stationary plane. No. But in reality, you're actually moving absolutely not. In, what do you mean? Absolutely not. You would. He kind of has the point because we were born on a stationary plane and we that's do live on a stationary plane, just not the plane in the way that you're thinking about. That's it. true. If we were, no, if we were I'm born not. on a stationary plane, then we would experience everything we do. I actually, that makes a good point. You're good, you're good at this, bro. No, no, no. You're you're not listening. What if you're on an airplane? If you're on an we, airplane. We heard you, man. And it's going 700 miles an hour. You can stand up and you don't feel it moving. Okay, so you don't have any evidence that the Earth orbits around the sun. It's just a blind belief that you have. Fine, sure, I'll give it to you. It's okay, a blind so don't, belief. Don't you, don't you agree that like... No thought whatsoever, just blindly. Well, I asked you if you can explain any intellectual, articulate reason why you believe it, and you didn't do that. All I have to say is science. You Like, science <laughs> has spent centuries evolving. So you... <laughs> we don't have to... We don't have to do that anymore science. because they've science. already been Double doing that shit. Can you define science? Oh my god. I mean, look, it's part observation, it's part experiments, mm -hmm. creating hypotheses that yeah. lead to conclusions that you can that are repeatable mm -hmm. and then can be peer reviewed mm -hmm. by other people mm -hmm. to see if they can replicate the results that you've gotten yeah so what 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 i mean you butchered it but pretty good so then what was done with that like what was done in terms of science like you just defined it to establish that we go around the sun i mean well nasa has now sent plenty of probes to space so how does that not count how does that if say nasa did send probes to space how would that prove that the earth moves around the sun because the probes have gone like outside of our orbit okay. and have seen it. According to relativity, there's a kinematic equivalence. You wouldn't be able to tell if it was you moving or if it was this if it was the Earth or Sun moving. Like according okay. to relativity, you wouldn't be able to tell. Okay, but why are why if this is so obvious, how come like all the scientists since the beginning of heliocentrism, who have been way more passionate than I have. I mean, the only reason I got into this is because I'm trying to understand my friend who's living homeless on the streets because he thinks God is talking to him, telling him about the ark and all this bullshit. I don't even believe that's a real thing. I 100% think you're lying. Oh, let me, uh, he's probably listening to this right now.
Okay, well, how about this? What you're gonna find out is he obviously knows more about where we live than you do because you just blindly believe we're flying through a vacuum over 60,000 miles per hour around the sun, but you have no evidence of it, right? So it's basically like a religion. Do you, do you agree that if you just blind... Wait, 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 wait. Do you agree that if you just blindly believe a story that was written by other men and you have no actual evidence of it, but you believe it because other people believe it, that that's basically a religion? No, because a religion is also about like rituals and all this other crap. No, no, I'm saying you have a belief system built upon the doctrine of men void of empirical evidence that requires blind belief. Are you going to let the greedy heating companies and their crazy high prices decide if your family is